welcome back. We are here. It's uh, been a few days since I've uh, been last been playing on here. And uh, coincidentally, it's been a few days since, uh, you know, I recorded. But all that's coming to a screeching halt right now because uh, I got a little bit of time. It is New Year's Eve at the time of this recording, which uh, basically just means some time off. Worked a normal day today, but that's the holiday season, and I will harvest my wheat with a sword. And there's nothing any of you can do about it. Assuming it bothered you in the first place. I mean, I don't know. Some people take offense to things like that. But anyway, so uh, we're here. We're back in eggnog land, and we are... Looking into doing a house, I think, is what we were up to. And we're just going to do some some of this harvest action, you know. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Maybe my wheat ripen while I was talking? No? Okay. Let's go see the sheep. Take my wheat over to the sheep. But, uh, yeah. That's all I got at the moment. So we're going to look at this house. Um, I did look briefly up at the, the spot on top of the hill. Like up here, I think, is where we're going to go. And I still don't know what I'm going to do with that. I like the location geographically. I think it's well suited to what uh, I'm trying to do here. Hello, sheepies. I just, I'm not crazy about the location itself, though. Y you know what I mean? Any of you have any idea what I'm talking about? These sheep don't. They're just focused on the wheat right now. They are wheat crazed. But that's okay. Because if they weren't wheat crazed, we'd have a hard time breeding them. You know, like, okay, okay. So, up there, I like it geographically. But... The location's kind of iffy. Like, you get up there, and it's kind of got some weird sloping... It's kind of hilly, I guess is what I'm actually trying to say. It is just not conducive to construction, but it's kind of nifty. I, I don't know. I, I just put all the seeds in. I never replanted the wheat. Why didn't you guys tell me... I don't care if this is like a week later that you're seeing this. You should have told me I didn't plant the wheat. That's just common courtesy. I mean, come on. You guys were harvesting wheat and then forgot to replant it. I would probably help you out. Never mind you. Good lord. Alright. Moving right along. Uh, but while we're back here, I think we can climb up pretty easily. Show you what I'm talking about. Because it's like, I want the freedom to maybe have a nice big house. How did I do this? These hills are also obnoxious. I'm going to really have to invest in some serious staircase action or something. I mean, I guess we got a big wide open space down here, but I'm not crazy about it being over here. Why am I not crazy about that? I don't know. I really, I don't. Just nice promenade. Look at all that. Look at that. That's just too cool. It is too cool. So maybe I should be over here so I can get this nice vista. Look at that. Whoa. Hello. I wonder if that's part of our ravine. I think that is, because our tunnel goes underneath. I think that's our ravine. We may have to go in from that end. Lava? Is that lava starting from the top? And that's bizarre. We're going to check that out. Consider that noted for future exploration. Anyway, we're almost five minutes in here, and I got no direction on this house. I got no idea. I'm kind of digging this area, maybe, because now it's kind of far away. We're on the way over here on the other side of this little thing, but it's so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. 
I got nothing. I'm sorry, people. This is... Uh, we could go over here. Get the same kind of... Maybe, I think, I think, yeah, we're going to have to work around here. I kind of like this. Um, I don't know. I like this. We could do a nice big window. There's trees in the way, obviously. Hello, sheepy. You're a gray sheep. I'll save you. Hey, look at that, an apple. It's a sign. We're going to go ahead and build here. Minecraft has spoken. Is that another apple? No, just the wood. That's pretty cool. I got a boatload of apples already. I'm pretty sure that tree is also going to be in my way. So let's just go ahead and knock him out. How do we get an oak tree next to the acacia? That seems like a biome mix up to me. Um, nah, I don't even know. I got nothing. Okay, so um, thinking here, people. I'm thinking. How much cobble do I have? Let's plot this out a little bit with some cobble. Cause I'm digging, I'm digging this view. So I'm gonna want to have. I wish it wasn't so. Cause if we want to think like here, over to here, it's a pretty significant. Stretch of, uh, we could do something cool with that, okay. Uh, which means if we're gonna be going back. Hello, Acacia Sapling. I'm just, I'm kinda eyeballing here. I got no real build in mind. If we come out straight. And this is going to end up being funky. Because of that, I want that window kind of angled the way I want it. That's going to be kind of weird. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we're, we're going to go five across. I don't even know if I can do what I'm thinking about doing. Not even gonna lie to you. So we come in five from here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That would put us, that would be a nice. Be able to look out. See that? See that doesn't get us close enough to the to the edge here. I want to get right up close to it. I hear you, sheep. I hear you. Gray sheep is an architect, apparently. So um, I hear you. I care not for your opinion, to be brutally honest. Oh, I gotta come up one more. What? Really? Really? The sheep is gonna do that. Obnoxious sheep. Oh, look at that. I got, I got, I got what are those? Pumpkins? Yes, I got pumpkins already. Is it getting dark? It is. It's getting to be nighttime already. Ten minutes into this, I got I got a kind of an idea, so I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna kind of flesh this out a little bit because uh, you guys watching me think out loud is not gonna be entertaining, and uh, or if it is, you've you've gotten enough of it to hold you over. So, oh man, another sheep going. Ooh, 
I didn't mean to hurt the sheep. Okay, so I'm going to go sleep, uh, oh, too far, and think about that a little bit more in the daytime and get back to you. I'll bring you back as soon as I know what the heck I'm doing. All right, sound like a plan? Good. Okay, so I've got a plan. i got a plan. It's uh, basically, we're going to come all the way out to here, and I think this view is going to be perfect. This is, this is very nice. And uh, we're gonna keep it nice and big. We got a room for 15 interior squares by 10 interior squares. And yeah, maybe up in the upper floors. I'm gonna go at least two floors. We'll see, uh, maybe three, I don't know. At least two, so we can get the height. I can kind of see out of here. Um, a little bit higher from here but definitely right about here is gonna give me my floor or my room for this, this nice little view and the sun comes up right here. So I think that's gonna be like perfect. Anyway, so uh, we're gonna run with that. I'm gonna clear all this grass out of the way. And uh, yeah, this is uh, what I'm doing for New Year's Eve. You know, you get a lot of people out there getting ready to go out at 4 o'clock on a January, January 31st, good lord. December 31st, they're getting ready to go out, they got reservations, they're getting the, uh, the liquor cabinets opened up and ready to go. Look at that, got a lot of seeds out of that. Which reminds me, I forgot we got chickens over there. Um, let's go feed the chickens real quick. No, focus, we're going to stay focused. What? You see that? You just ate the grass right there. You just how'd you do that? With the grass under the tall grass. You ate the tall grass, but it's still it's still wow. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Watchers, right? You see that? Oh my god. I don't even know. The sheep the sheep is hardcore. I, I dig this sheep. Anyway. Um but no, that's not what I'm doing. I'm playing Minecraft and recording it, because that's what I do. And I refuse to be judged for that. Anyway. Um, how was I going to play this one? I need... I don't have a lot of resources at this point. That's, uh... Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. I kind of got a color scheme in my head. But I don't know if I got the resources to make that possible. Also... What I'm envisioning is going to take. Really? Did not realize he was running that low. It's going to take quite a bit of glass, so uh, let's get some glass going. I'll tell you something else I'm not doing New Year's related. It's uh, New Year's resolutions. It's really uh, been a popular thing since the time immemorial. I don't think there's anything wrong with that exactly, with the concept itself. I mean, it's a natural start and end point. And it's going to kind of look like I got a lot, of, a lot of things changing in the beginning of the year here. But none of it is because of the new year. It's stuff I started putting in motion as far back as August. And it's just all now coming up to a head. It's starting to line up and be reality. So, uh, there's nothing wrong with New Year's resolutions. It's just I subscribe to the theory you should uh, stack it. That's good enough. That uh, you should always be improving, trying to make things better. Um, if you're not, then you're going to get in a rut, and nobody wants to be in a rut. This is the sheep that thinks he's a mountain goat. Lunatic. So, uh, yeah, not, not going out, not partying, and not doing resolutions. So, boring deluxe, probably. Wild 
sheep. What's going on? Boring Minecraft player here. But I'm okay with that. Like I said, I refuse to be judged because it works for me. May not work for you, but that's okay. Especially if uh, you're a kid and you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, then by all means, don't even worry about it. Are you still a baby? Now you can have two babies. Grow up, little chicken. Chicky. All right. Got that. Uh, see, these guys grew up. I wonder if they're just outside my chunk. What chunk are we in? Three, four, ten. Ooh, uh, 12, 4, 3. Uh, looks like that might be the case. We're in 29. Over here becomes 12, 4. Oh. That could be a problem there. We may want to move the chickens. Because, uh, woo. Nice little bit of lag there. Because, uh, no, no, I don't know. I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. So, uh, don't pay any attention to that. I still might want to move the chickens closer. Cause, I mean, obviously the sheep were growing up while the, that is not my door. Well, the chickens did not. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, okay, last going. I've got granite. I've got a little bit of granite, a little bit of diorite. We do have some bricks left. Not enough to really build with. We've got some birch. Hmm. 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 stack of sugar cane that's kind of cool um huh hmm I'm not sure so well it's dark again um, let's repeat our process from earlier I will catch some Z's then I will think about how exactly I want to build this and uh, I'll bring you back and we'll go from there. Sound good? Good. Good. I'm glad you agree with me. Oh, look at this toasty at my feet as I fall asleep. I like it. All right. So I'm bringing you back kind of uh, plan in progress already. But I wanted to get a jump start because we've already used almost, you know, 20 minutes of 30-minute uh, episode time. And I've done nothing interesting. Sorry. But uh, that's just how it goes. All right, I want to get a stack of andesite. That's what I'm working on now. How do you say that, right? Andesite. Andes, andes, andesite. I'm pretty sure it's andesite. And a stack of granite. Now I don't know how many of you have watched. Uh, what was it? The Happy Minecrafter, which is the kind of role play tutorial series thing I do but uh, if you have if you've seen that you will know that one of my standard builds is solid oak or solid tree branch looking tree trunk looking support beams for a house and then fill it in with wood um, that's not exactly what I'm looking to do this time. I'm looking to do something a little bit different. So that's why we're going for all of these. I'm just kind of digging out 
around here, close to home, instead of going underground. Because uh, as this series goes on, I don't think it's going to look... I'm going to really work on this, really transform it quite a bit, so I don't feel too bad about shaking anything up. I think this is how I cut my way up last time. I could be wrong. Or initially, I should say, not last time. But anyway, so here we are. My plan is I'm going to put this polished andesite down here as kind of like the foundation. I know it's on top of the dirt and that's not really a foundation, but hey, Minecraft physics is just awesome like that. So we're going to go around and this will be the base of the house. You know, I probably could have figured out mathematically. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat making a flipping amount of noise out in the kitchen. But if you can, I'm sorry about that. There's no controlling him. Um, could have figured this out mathematically. I did not because that's too easy, I guess. But we're going to do... Yes, I like that. That looks snazzy. What do you think? What do you think? I like that. It's not like it's got some texture to it, which uh, stone would not. It's not stone bricky looking. And I trapped that sheep in there, didn't I? That's ridiculous. Oh, he's, you can jump. It's a one block. You'll be all right. And yeah, I like that. It's textured, but not too much. So now do I do though yeah see there it goes um, hmm 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 well let's worry about the floor later let's uh, take a tip from carpenters and we are going to frame it first so that's going to be filled in, so we want to be going three high. Get a little bit of a ceiling. Three or four. Three is tall, but I think we are going to want four tall for the main level. Because you need to be two tall, two blocks tall. And then, yes, I like that. That's good. We'll put... Uh, that looks classy. We'll do this here. And one and two and three and four. And jump. Ouch. Run down to the end. One and two and three and four and jump. Ouch. And come over here. It's actually going to be one of the bigger houses that I've built. All right. Alright, here we go, here we go. Uh, pull you out, get some dirt for scaffolding purposes. And should we do another ring of andesite all the way around for the second floor? I'm thinking we should. I'm liking that idea. So I started with 64, I ended up with 20, or tw 20, with 10. What does that mean? It means I need 54 blocks of andesite to go around, which means I need 44 more blocks of andesite. Let's hope that's easy to find. I'm going to go check it out and uh, come back when I find okay. it. Okay, we are back. I did find my andesite. It's still uh, up on the ground, which is pretty spiffy. Didn't have to go digging anywhere. Wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Pay attention. All right. So we're going to have four 
spaces between floor and ceiling. So as tall as I am, plus two, give it that nice uh, airy, luxurious feel. And yeah, might go a little shorter, go to three on the upper level here. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I got a lot of space here. I'm not used to building so much space into my homes. I typically try to go small, keep it cozy, keep it manageable. This, I'm leaving a lot of space so I can have options. So I can do cool stuff if I want to. Uh, like I said, I've been seeing some people doing some cool stuff with like redstone and whatnot, and I think it might be fun. So I left some space open for that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I might uh, might actually need more of this to cap off the roof or to start the bottom level of the roof. I don't know. Maybe. All right. So there's that. Let's uh, break out the granite. All right, nine. So let's go three high, like we were saying. All right, and down. And one, two, and three. And down. And one, and two, and three. Uh, let's go. And one, and two, and three. I mean, look at that. That's a nice view. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And uh, I'm probably going to need more andesite. That's annoying. That's very annoying. But we don't need to go there yet, because now we have this to work with. Ouch. We got some of the way. And yeah. Okay. Okay, so for wood. Let's see. Did I bring the wood with me? Of course I did not bring the wood with me. Why would I bring the wood with me? That would just make too much sense. I would unload the wood. Okay, so uh dirt go bye bye. If I have um, oak wood. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to want to do this at all. I, I'm not feeling the barked look at all. But I'm gonna put it up there just uh, just in case. I mean, that's not bad, but I mean, come on now. I mean, we do this. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's not what I meant to do. I think this is going to be no good red on red. Or reddish on reddish. That's not ridiculous, I guess. But it might be a nice floor color. That's an idea. Try to be thorough here, people. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling the oak on the floor. It just seems to whatever. Uh, birch. Where's my birch at? Check out Birch. Mm 
Here's the axe, dude. Come on. That's interesting. But again, I'm not I'm not thinking bark is the way to go on this. That's interesting. That almost seems too light on the floor. So I think uh, I think Acacia is going to win it for the floor. Some nice red wood flooring. I want to see. I thought I think it's going to be that different. I'm going to end up replanting this here before anyone freaks out on me. Um, I just want to see what this look. Whoa this looks like here real quick. I think it's it's a little darker than the oak. I'm not gonna be able to see that. And we're already way over time. So uh Oh, and you see the nice sunset out the back here, over the ocean. This is a good spot. I like this. This did work out in the end. Anyway, uh, look at that sunset. It's pretty, and um, I think I'm going to call it an episode. Cliffhanger, and we'll figure out tomorrow, and whenever we do the next video, uh, what we're going to do for the walls and the floors for sure. Well, no, we know the floors are going to be acacia. That's almost a given. But uh, we'll see what the floors, oh my god, what the walls are going to be next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Doodaloo.